I've been asked to cook some dogfish. I haven't got any dogfish in the freezer and it's not something that we generally catch around here very often. What I do have though is some smooth hound left over from the summer. Their flesh is tough, great for cooking curries and things like that. So, let's get on. Rick Stein to the rescue once again. Page 54, braised catfish in dark caramel sauce. This is one of my favourites. There's no photograph though. First of all, I'm going to chop up some garlic. Just going to rough chop it because it's going to go through the liquidizer in a minute. So, rough chop your string onions. This is going to form my marinade. All going to get shoved into there, picked up from left, right, and centre because I'm a messy cook. There's probably some on the floor as well. Bit of salt, nothing too special, cheap table salt. Bit of pepper, freshly ground. Stick in a load of fish sauce. Right, just going to whiz this up. That's my marinade all whizzed up. So I'm going to scrape that into the bowl because that's going to have to coat the fish. Can't abide waste. Get it all. Spatulas. This one comes free with a Kenwood. They cost about 50p or a quid or something to buy from Kenwood. They're the best spatulas I've ever used. They far 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 outweigh any other spatula that you can buy from any shop that sells spatulas. Right, here's my smooth hound, here's my board. I'm going to cut it smaller. We're going to make chunks. Sort of squares of about an inch or so. They don't have to be uniform, they don't have to be perfectly square. You know, you, you're cooking, you're not making Lego. Now if you imagine a dogfish is probably about half the size of one of these, okay? You're looking at a piece like this for a decent dogfish, okay? I'm going to pop my pieces smooth hand into the marinade using my wonderful Kenwood spatula. I wonder if Kenwood would sponsor me. Perhaps they might. They might sponsor me with spatulas because potentially with uh, with a lot of YouTube followers, I could have lots of hits, and um, you know their their sales could rock it. Right now, that's good. That's a nice little coating there. Okay, everything's got a bit of garlic on, bit of spring onion on. Just going to whack a bit more pepper, whack a bit more of that stinky old fish sauce. That's key to this, and that's going to go in the fridge. I've done the marinade. I'm now going to do some pieces of spring onion to put into the actual dish itself. Also going to slice the garlic. As you can see, I've gone overboard on the garlic. I'm slicing it fairly thickly today. I'm not doing chilli. I'm going to put some rings of red pepper in there. It's one of those long thin red peppers that's quite, quite a bit sweeter than the standard ones. Got my palm sugar. Need about three tablespoonfuls of this. Now it comes in a block obviously, so I'm just going to break it down now in advance so it's ready to go in the pan for when I need to cook it up. I don't know how much three tablespoons actually equates to in sugar, but probably not enough for my sweet tooth. So I'm going to stick the whole lot in. I need to get another tub of it anyway. I'm going to make a salad to go with this. Start off nice and easy. I've already got some chopped lamb's lettuce out of the bag. Watercress, rocket and spinach, that's going in as well. I'm just going to chop up a little bit of an ice gemmed lettuce. Now I'm going to add in some spring onions. Next some banana schlots, I've already peeled these as you can see. A little mix around, break things up. Still very green. That is why we have the red pepper. Okay, I'm going to put some crushed peanuts on there. I won't crush the whole bag, so I've got another bag here. 
stick a few peanuts in there, apart from those ones. Right, I'll put them in a bag so they don't go everywhere. When I do this, now you don't need to do it like that. I just like to do it like that because it's nice and aggressive. You can do it like this as well. Okay, so that doesn't annoy the neighbours, doesn't annoy my wife. On. It gives it a bit of texture, a bit of extra flavour. We start off with some warm or slightly hot water. That I need because I have to dissolve my palm sugar. Next I'm going to do the lemongrass. You need to crush the lemongrass so that it releases the flavour. I'm going to crush them and I'm going to chop them small. That's done. That's going to go into the liquid with the palm sugar. Next, garlic. This needs to be crushed. So I'm going to use my super duper Jamie Oliver garlic press. It's actually my wife's super duper Jamie Oliver garlic press. Limes, I would use them, but I haven't. So, it's going to be lemons. Limes would be more authentic in keeping with the rest of the dish. But with lemons, I'm still getting that citrus zing. Good word, zing. Don't know if it's a real word, don't know if it exists. Decent amount of lemon juice. Because I'm using this basically instead of oil and vinegar. More of the evil, foul smelling fish sauce. Num pla, they call it in some places. This one, yeah, num pla. See? Num pla. Fish sauce is quite salty as well as being evil and foul smelling and grim. It's uh, got a lot of flavour. I'm going to start with the sauce. Palm sugar. Gently heating some oil in here. In goes my palm sugar. Going to melt that down. This is for the caramel sauce that we're going to enjoy over our smooth ham. Right, in goes my garlic. It's going to fry off. Going to stick my peppers in there as well. Caramel is starting to bubble. And turn the heat up a bit. I want it to darken a little bit. Not too dark. If you balls this up, you've had it. Caramel turns at a certain stage. You want to get to it before it turns, but after it's starting to caramelise. And look at that, that looks like a, a frothy, bubbling caramel mousse. Do not touch it. That burns and that sticks to your skin, that's going to hurt. Okay, that's starting to turn now, it's starting to get darker. In goes 150ml of water. Keeping it moving because I want it to dissolve. It's not going to dissolve straight away, it's going to kind of separate. But as it warms up again, it will dissolve. Right, now I'm going to put the spring onions in. With the caramel sauce nearly ready to go, I'm going to pop the fish in and just give them a bit of a fry before the main sauce goes in. I reckon that will do me with the sauce, the caramel sauce. So I'm going to pour that in, making sure I go over all the fish as I'm pouring, just in case I don't have enough depth in the pan. I need another 150ml of water. I'm going to put it in the small pan first, just to take off any remaining sugar and caramel. In it goes. I'll just set my timer, because otherwise I'm likely to be on the internet, forget and set fire to it all. And I'll be all that work for nothing. And I'll be in trouble again. Because I burnt the food again. Like you did this morning. Like you did last night. That's looking really good. Loads of steam coming off as it reduces down. You can see it's caramelising it all nicely. It's all looking nice and brown. Sauce has reduced a lot. It's been on about a quarter of an hour now. Right, I'm going to dress the salad with the palm sugar, lemon juice and lemongrass mix. Good old mix around. Nothing like a nice toss before you have your lunch. Still bubbling. Chunks of caramelised braised smooth hound. It's not my favourite.